Hello, I'm going to be introducing my Bake Animation plugin, and basically I did this video already, but I wasn't too happy with it, and the quality was not very good. So for completeness, I'm going to redo this. Uh, bear with me. Okay, basically what this does is it makes animations from single frames of cells into one large animation that is in a grid or horizontal or vertical format, like this. Usually it's red from left to right and down, or if it's just vertical, it's red from top to bottom. Okay, to make these with my plugin, you're first going to have to add a plane or an object, it doesn't matter, but we'll start with a plane to do a simple uh, visual for you. How to use this? Okay. I have two planes here. Uh, we're going to unwrap the top one, so let's do that real fast. I'm going to add an image, and we're going to work with a 1024, 1024, but we're trying to fit 64 frames in it, so we have to start with a 128 by 128. has to be multiples, or it will uh, give you an error, and you'll have to make a new uh, starting cell. We're going to unwrap this to the starting cell, and we're going to go over to source, and we're going to click the starting cell. Okay. Now we have to make our major animation, which will be 1024 and 1024. This will give us 64 frames to work with, like I said. Okay. All right. Now it's pointing at the animation, so we have to point it back at cell by leaving it selected. There it goes. Now it's on cell. So let's go to destination and pick animation. It's all set up and ready to go. Okay. So let's do a water animation so you can get a better look at this. You can do uh, dynamic paint with this and make rain or what else you want to do. You can also use an object and basically cast the animation on it. Let's add an ocean sim. Here we go. And scale this down because it's way too big. You don't need it that big. You just need it slightly bigger than our uh, casting space. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay. And we change some settings to make it look nice. Uh, let's see. Let's add some choppiness to this a little bit. Uh, let's mail this over a little bit. The scale. Here we go. Make them a little more big, larger. Make this, uh, yeah. Keep it kind of dense. There we are. And we can test it by moving to time and see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. So let's set that back to 1. And we're going to animate that part right there. So we're going to have to right click time. Insert a keyframe, make sure you're on uh, frame 1. We're going to insert a keyframe. And we're going to move along to frame 250. And move this forward to where we like it. All right about right here, looks good. Insert another keyframe. Now if you hit back, hit play, the ocean sim should be uh, animated. There we go. So now we have to go to the animation up here and by default. Select A twice and push T and go to linear. This will take the uh, smooth in and out animation away and it'll be nice and smooth. Here we go. All right. Now to bake this, it's real easy. We just go back to our render tab to my plugin and we go to selected to active. We select this and select the top object and we hit basically here we can just hit calculate and it'll capture 64 frames from start to end start to end 64 this frame this animation is much larger than 64 frames though and we're going to do a normal so let's put that in normal this also changes your regular bake settings so beware that if you're doing another bake they are one in the same and we're going to hit interpolate this will take full which is the whole animation, and squeeze it down into 63 frames. This works pretty well until the animation gets too big. So just for 250 frames, it'll be fine, but if you're getting larger than that, try to keep it lower. Okay. You can also clip, of course, and basically take a section of animation from the full animation and squeeze it into 63 frames, 64 frames. <clears throat> so now we have our water selected and the caster. We're going to zoom in and we're going to hit bake. This could take a while depending how complex your animation is or what you're animating. So keep that in mind. This should go fairly quickly though. 
and when it hits 100% here it should be done and we should have water animations here we go I'm going to go back to the full thing the full animation and we see we have our grid and this will work fine if you uh, play the animation back and forth it should actually look fairly seamless all right so let's try using the uh, clip method now let's say we want a section from let's see here 82 through 70, 177 so we go 82 through 177 okay now when we hit bake it will calculate again and we will see receive the animation between those two points scaled down to fit within our uh, animation space There we are. And the texture is fully casted from 82 to 177. Okay, this plugin is available from my website in the description below. Uh, feel free to download it and thank you for watching.